You remember this place? No. Yeah, I remember coming here. My mother used to bring us here. Tell me everything. Some things have always been. There have always been angels. There have always been demons. There's always graffiti about angels and, and demons. Been at war. Nine millennia ago, one demon rose through the ranks to take power over the dark hordes. The strongest, the cruelest. Mundus. So cruel. So dark. But Mundus did not rise alone. At his right hand was his most trusted lieutenant. Look, I'm a swing. His blood brother. Sparta. But Sparta betrayed him. He fell in love with an angel, Eva. That bastard. The secret union between angel and demon was inconceivable. Unheard of. It happened. And with it came new life. Twin boys. You and I. A hybrid of the warring angel and demon races. When Mundus learned of Sparta's betrayal, his fury knew no limit. He turned purple. He hunted the lovers down. He got a headband. He, he killed was Nevin. by his own hand. And for Sparta, he demanded a more brutal fate. Endless punishment and pain. But even as evil was destroyed, and Sparta was imprisoned for eternity, each knew that the seed for their revenge had already been sown. Because according to legend... Legend. The only beings that really? can slay a demon king... Are Nephilim, a hybrid of angel and demon. Okay, Nephilim are hybrids of angels and humans? Exist, Hello? You and I. And it's a legend, a prophecy. Great, whatever. Too spooky. Mundus believed that only one child was born. But there were two Nephilim. And each had been hidden well. Sparta armed his sons. The Rebellion for Dante. The Yamato. For Virgil. Yamato. So, Mundus killed our mom and imprisoned our dad. Yes. And we're the offspring of angels and demons. Demon father, angel mother. We are Nephilim. The only ones that can slay the demon king. Good. Great. Ow. Spotter. <laughs> Fucking demon collaborators. You're being dragged into limbo. I'll find Kat, she'll get you out. Why aren't Stand you for... getting dragged into limbo? Fuck you. Okay. Not too scary. Uh, they become invincible when you hurt when they are left alone long enough. That's the little shtick. Great, cool. Uh, little spoiler: I've already beaten this level, but due to a problem with recording, I couldn't uh, post that up. Stop, stop bugging me. I'm doing shit. All right. No. I'll have to find another way. Alright, so since I did beat this level already, I did already get all the stuff. So if you give a shit, there's a lost soul up there, a vital star down here, and a few other secrets that will pass by on the way out. Well, let's see, what do we got here? Break this wall with Arbiter. You can go on up here. There's a key, a bronze or a copper key up there, but I've already got that, so yeah. More bad guys, awesome. 
over here. Mm. Oh, hey, I got a friend. Huh? I actually didn't know that could hurt me like that. Assist. What a surprise. Okay. Oh, goodbye. More of these critters around here. And take this. Jumping on up here. Now, Another blue rose. Yeah, I love blue roses. Before I thought that there's a couple secrets that you could get to by riding these things, but that was totally wrong. So you actually have to get this first. Dante. Dante. Really is you. Really is you. Really is you. How do you know it's really me? I thought this music was cool the first time I heard it, but it's, I don't know, I don't like it that much now. I feel that way about a lot of stuff in this game, actually. It seems cool at first, and then you're like, oh, well this actually kind of sucks. Anyway, the ability we got, because I already got it, is Angel Boost. It's essentially another dash attack, or a dash that we can use. And it's pretty useful. So as you can see, you can chain it with double jumps. You can actually even use a dash while you're in midair too. So you can double jump, dash, and angel boost. It's your around pretty easily. You can also use the angel boost to get you down from high spots. As long as you hold left trigger, you kind of float down with it. And this is kind of a tutorial to teach us that you can chain all a bunch of stuff together with it. It's really the only uh, movement type thing that you can use in combat. And obviously you can use the whips to get between enemies, but it's not like you have those set points like you do in platforming sections. You know, someone worked long and hard on that statue and you just fucking broke it like an idiot. I don't think you understand what's at stake. I don't think you understand. You're still sticky. Yeah. Flying rats. Mm hmm. So these guys are called Pathos. Don't know why. I want to like this scythe, but it just kind of sucks. Okay. Easily taken care of, and that's essentially it for this mission. 
And I have already gotten all the shit here, but I might as well show where you can get it, because, well, I guess people might care. Uh, you can use the angel boost to get around here. Uh, didn't quite get where I wanted to go. Oh well. There's another one right above me. There we go. And just use the angel lift to get across to it. It's a lost soul right here, so you can grab that. You can jump up here, use angel boost. And then jump over and use angel boost one more time. And you can get inside here. Another lost soul in here, too, so. You can grab that if you give a shit. And last but not least, there is a secret door up here. I don't have the keys to open it, because, well, I guess you need to get those from other areas, but you can angel boost over to it. Argent keys. Well, yeah, whatever. And that's about it. And to get on out of here, just use angel boost. Voila! Silver Sachs Tower, the world's most powerful investment bank. And who runs it? CEO, Kyle Ryder, a human vessel, the physical manifestation of Mundus, the Demon King. Through debt, he controls everything. So did nobody question that Tamundus weird looking thing on his forehead for at any point? Souls. And he likes to keep his animals monitored and docile. The monitoring is done by the Raptor News Corporation. A global network of CCTV cameras, satellites, and spies. The way he keeps us docile is uh, a little more insidious. What is it? It's in your hand. Planet Earth's most popular soft drink, Virility. The demons have spiked it. Delicious. Ah, okay. It has no effect on us, only humans. It's the bottom in a can. So what's the plan? That's the Hellgate. Oh. A conduit from which Mundus draws. Another part of the legend, I guess. While he's connected to the Hellgate, Glad he's you have one of those things. But we get him away from the Hellgate, and our swords will do the rest. So, how do we do that? We get his attention. Mundus is petty. He's impulsive. If we hit him where it hurts, let his anger rule him. I believe we can draw him out. Okay, so. So we get him mad. Mundus, we need to drag him away from the Hellgate. We do that by pissing him off. Roughly speaking, yes. And we piss him off by taking out the Raptor News Network and Virility. That's it. Which one do you want to do first? Cool. Keeping it classy. Mission on concrete. The only thing we miss is that door, because I don't have a key for it, I guess. Woo! Alright, thank you for watching.